Hello, in this video, we'll quickly recap three things that you learned in IGCSE. And apparently they will be in IB Physics also, but then we'll just quickly go through them again and just to recall some uh, basic idea. And they include fossil fuel, Sankey diagram and efficiency. So let's start with fossil fuel power plants. Actually, in the this kind of power plant is very common uh, that you have uh, the process similar to what you have in nuclear power plant also. So the basic idea or basic principle is simply uh, you got the fuel and somehow for nuclear power plant of course you have other way to create the heat uh, from the reaction but then for fossil fuel it's simple here that you just simply burn them. So it's just like you go to barbecue you may say uh, you, you burn the fossil fuel they release the heat which is in the form of thermal energy and what you do is uh, you could run if you look at the diagram you will see uh, you can run water through them and the water will absorb the thermal energy as kinetic energy that you learn in chapter 3 and eventually you can create steam which is in the form of potential energy and those steam uh, will go through the turbine drive the turbine and um, turbine in itself is a generator which you may have learned in the EM chapter and they would turn the potential energy or kinetic energy to electrical energy. So this is how uh, a usual power plant could do. Very simple. For Sankey diagram, uh, this is an example and I think this is quite self-explanatory. Uh, some key points that you may want to pay attention is first of all, the only arrow that go through to say uh, from the left to the right here, only 35 here is a useful power or useful energy. All these go to the sideway are uh, all wasted energy uh, in whatever perspective, like in whatever things that you have, this is the perspective. Uh, the other thing that you need to pay attention is uh, the length of each thing. So you can see on the diagram here, as opposed to if they are doing it in scale, you can see here you can count there should be 10 grid in total, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yes, 10 grid in total. And since this is 20, so like 20%, or literally if this is 100 watt then this is 20 watt I think this is in percentage though uh, but in any cases this is in scale so you can see here you have two grid here and this is 40 and therefore there are four grid here and this is five so you have half grid here and this is 35 so you have one two three and a half grid here so everything should be in scale for Sankey diagram the last thing that we would like to cover is simply efficiency, which in fact you have learned it in chapter 2 as well. And uh, just to remind you that for efficiency, you can use a symbol like this one. Uh, and this is a ratio of useful power over the well, input, I would say total input power, uh, if you ask me. The most important thing is uh, it is total. Uh, in fact, in input power, I, I, I I'll say yes, you can you can just say input power or total output power. Okay, but I think it's uh, again quite self-explanatory. And so uh, you can use this as a way to calculate uh, efficiency in the questions. Or the other way around, if you got the efficiency, maybe you can calculate the useful power. So, so right now, uh, let's try to do the example experiment. Point two, and we'll go through them together. Pause the video now. A few moments later. Okay, so let's take a look of this question. So it said uh, it is a uh, fossil fuel burning cold. Yeah, I think these are not really that matter for calculation. And then it said it has an output, I suppose a useful output, and overall efficiency. Okay, calculate the rate which thermal energy is provided by the burning. So this is more like the uh, input power. So apparently for part A, you just use the equation which is useful power output over the uh, total input power. So I'll, I'll just write a short form times 100%. So you have 35% and then the useful is 400 megawatts. And then the input is what you find times 100%. So you can just solve it by calculating. The input should be 1142.857 something, right? So let's run it up to say 
three SF, so one one four zero mega, cause you have mega here, so mega watts in that case. That's part A. So part B, it asks you to calculate the rate which the coal is burned, uh, given that this is the specific energy that you learned in the previous video. So uh, first thing you meet, you may want to figure out is uh, so what is this unit that they are asking you to calculate? Uh, rate which is being burnt. So that should be usually kg per second, right? Usually, unless they are asking you volume, but usually it's referring to the mass. Especially here, you can see it's per kg, so it should be kg per second. So right here. You may use a little bit of dimensional analysis that is uh, kind of matching the unit and since you have uh, what you find earlier that is 1140 megawatt so say uh, one well maybe on the side you can try to think about this first so you have watt which is joule per second but then you want to find kg per second so what you may want to do is here is mega joule, so basically joule per kg. So what if I divide it by joule per kg? So maybe I will write s negative one instead, and then kg negative one here, right? So on both sides maybe, and then for this one I can generate the unit of kg per second, right? So yeah, I think this is what you will want to find. So apparently uh, the equation could be say rate equals to the input that we find times the specific energy right so yeah wait no times divide right like what we did earlier so that should give you the correct unit which should lead to the correct answer and then we have 1140 mega I can omit that and specific energy is uh, 30 megajoule per kg yeah so mega will cancel out and eventually find out the rate by calculator yes uh, if I use this random value it will be exactly 38 and that will be in kg per second okay let's take a look of part C so part C is very interesting it sets uh, for the thermal energy discarded by the power plant and they will be removed by water so basically the energy go into the water and carry it away uh, however the temperature of the water must not exceed more than 5 degrees celsius for some reason maybe it will be overheating if it's exceeding that so uh, you can imagine the flow rate cannot be too slow in that case it will overheat uh, or it cannot be too fast in a way I think more of a economical reason that uh, you have to use a greater external power to pump the water so that would uh, give you more cost like greater cost so um, that is a very interesting question but one thing that I would kind of confuse is uh, is this energy referring to those wasted energy or is it referring to the useful energy cause uh, I mean this is how burning coal like generate electricity you need water to carry the energy array right so here I, I would say um, if I interpret wrongly I think uh, it doesn't really matter I think it's more impo important thing is about how you can do a calculation so here I will assume it's the wasted energy but if it is say useful energy I do believe it's the same way so let's try it so apparently the waste of energy will be uh, the total minus the useful so that will be 1140 which is the thermal energy per second so say per second yes so per t actually divide t minus 400 that will be by 740 uh, megawatts okay so that all this energy will go into the uh, water so you may imagine uh, we have the equation we learned in chapter 3 let's just call it first Q equal to MC delta T but then uh, 740 here is in power right so we can divide it by T divide by T and that can kind of uh, interpret as 
the rate of the energy and here you can actually um, later on find out m over t instead because actually the question is asking you the rate of which the water must flow so m over t is actually the answer you want to find so i think we just have to substitute everything because q over t is already known as 740 mega so say in mathematically uh, 10 to the power of 6 m over t what is what you want to find c is 4200 uh, well-known values and delta t is what they said uh, 5 degrees celsius so that simply is 5 so by calculator you can eventually find out the answer which will be 3.523 times 10 with 2 okay so 4 in that case so that should be in kg per second and that should be the answer and that is of course a lot of uh, water to remove the heat and that actually makes sense